When you're selecting parts, camshaft and cylinder heads and stroke and bore and everything, the difference between a good engine and a great engine is they all come to working in harmony in the range you need them to. And, and the MCA is a big factor of that because it controls where peak velocity in the cylinder head goes. So in turbo cars, again, it's even more important because it controls when the boost starts, that threshold I was talking about, and how the curve is going to, going to what sort of shape it's going to have. So let's just break it down really quickly. As I said, he's using a K factor. So pick your K factor, flat tap it, a pro stock or like a roller street uh, endurance engine. Really, really simple. RPM, minimal cross-sectional error times your K factor. So input your K factor. Stroke, ball squared. So we can run through that calculator really, really quickly. Two times, we'll just use a flat tap it for now. So if we've got a um, three inch stroke, four inch ball, so like a um, you know, 302 uh, Windsor or, or a short stroke Cleveland or a Holden um, or a small block Chevy, like a 302, 305 Cuba. Let's say our MCA, so the smallest part, and the, again, the minimal cross sectional area. I, 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 I seen a couple of guys were struggling with my acronym, so I will try and break each acronym down. So uh, when we're talking CSA, it's cross-sectional area, put an M in front of it, it's minimal cross-sectional area. That means what we're measuring for is the tightest restriction in our primary induction length, and that is the minimal cross-sectional area. In early heads, uh, it tended to be around the push pushrod pinch. In later heads, they've moved it closer to the valve again, it really depends where it is, and where it is will affect how much taper and how much growth we have either side of the minimal cross-sectional area. So we've got a two-inch minimal cross-sectional area. We're going to times it by the flat tap at K factor. Uh, so that'll give us basically 355,000. Uh, four squared, 16, 16 times three, 48, 48. So now we're going to divide that by 48. Gives us a peak RPM of 7,400 RPM. So that combo, what, what that's now telling us is that our air speed is going to develop torque where we need it and peak horsepower where we need it at that 7,000 RPM if it's on a two inch minimal cross-sectional area. This clip is from Induction Secrets Part 4. Head over to Bain Racing on YouTube for the complete episode.